Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4, a hot news. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. While we are getting closer to the supposed launch of Samsung's next generation of foldables, more details about the devices have started to emerge. As per the most recent updates, details about the Z Flip 4's chipset and battery capacity have surfaced in two new listings where the first one is a Geekbench listing for the Samsung SMF721U which is believed to be Z Flip 4 powered by the yet-to-be-announced Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus chipset. The listing reveals the chipset bears the Taro codename and features a maximum clock speed of 3 19 GHZ which should be for the Cortex-X2 CPU performance core. We can also see an additional trio of cores clocked at 2.75 GHZ, presumably of the Cortex-A710 variety and 4 power-efficient Cortex-A510 units running at 1.8 GHz. Anyway, the Flip 4 in the listing, equipped with 8 GB RAM and boots Android 12 has managed to score 1,277 single-core points and 3,642 points on the multi-core test respectively. In related news, the Flip 4 wound up on the 3 C database revealing its total rated battery capacity of 3,595 mAh and the phone will pack dual battery cells with 2,555 mAh and 1,040 mAh rated capacities respectively. Well, still it remains to be seen what the typical battery capacity rating comes out to, and regardless of the actual MA value, a larger battery would be a much welcome addition because the Z Flip 3 had pretty lacklustered endurance. Apart from that, production for Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 components is apparently underway, according to sources speaking to Korean outlet The Elect. And what's more, Samsung's apparently got high hopes for demand for the two foldables. As the report says, production of parts for the new Galaxy Z models has begun, with assembly said to start in July, just before the predicted launch of the two phones in August. It continues that Samsung is reportedly planning to build over 10 million total units, consisting of 70% Z flips and 30% Z folds. Well, last year was already a big year for Samsung foldables, with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 both offering more refined foldable experience. However, Samsung built only 7 million Galaxy Z units total last year with the split being slightly more even at 65% Z Flip 3s and 35S% percent Z Fold 3s. It seems therefore that Samsung's still expecting demand to increase this year for these devices but however, as the report claims, it's keeping its plans flexible to adapt to changing market demand. One other interesting detail from this report is the profit margin that Samsung makes from its phones, at least according to Mizuho Securities. Apparently, while Galaxy S phones like the Galaxy S22 have a margin of 19%, the Galaxy Z family has a margin of 15%, and the cheaper Galaxy S series is just 5%. Like I said before, August is the likely month we'll see the next generation of Samsung foldables. Rumors for the Fold 4 so far claim it'll be getting some improved cameras and a reworked aspect ratio for more comfortable usage and Flip 4 is said to be getting a slightly larger exterior display and a larger battery for better longevity. So, that's going to be all for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.